The Grand MA3 software and hardware consoles can be controlled over OSC, therefore we can use it with the LS Wing. The LS Wing also features two DMX ports on the back, which can be used as ArtNet or SACN nodes that can output from Grand MA3, as long as we have the parameters unlocked. First things first, make sure your LS Wing and your Grand MA console or software are on the same network and you'll want your computer for configuration to be on the same network as well. To begin, let's turn on the wing by applying power, and then we'll press number five if it's not already selected for OSC. After 30 seconds, the lights stop flashing, which indicates that the wing has booted up fully. Now you can navigate to the wing's IP address, which by default is 192.168.1.10 or the name lswing.local. You can configure either of these as you wish. Check out our overview video for more information on that. Inside the LSWing's configuration, let's turn off the OSC remote control because we don't need to remote control the wing itself through OSC. Rather, we're going to control Grand MA through the LS Wing. Now let's go to targets at the top of our screen. Targets are just the different devices that we're going to use to control via OSC. In this case, we'll press the plus sign on the first circle and scroll down to MA Lighting, press the arrow, and then press Add for MA3 OSC. Now we need to enter the IP address of the console or computer running the MA3 software. Perfect. The port here will match the port in the MA3 software set for OSC. In this case, I'm going to use 8000 because it's the default in the MA3 software. We'll configure the MA3 software in just a moment. Once you set up your targets, it's now time to go to mapping. If you haven't created any mappings yet, you'll just see plus signs within all these circles. Pressing within a circle allows you to press edit, which then activates the current mapping. Now we can go ahead, set the name of our mapping, and press any button or slider to assign an action. We can then go ahead, pressing add, we can choose our action from the list. For example here, I'm going to set up the Grand Master. Now we're able to test it and see it move in Grand MA. Let's go over to the GrandMA software to configure it. Here in GrandMA on PC, I'm going to go ahead to Configuration, In and Out, and then OSC. There's a few things we need to change in order to begin. The first is to select the interface that we'll use for OSC. By default on the PC, it uses the loopback interface, but in this case, I'm choosing one of my Ethernet ports. We also need to set the destination IP address to match the LS wing. Mode will be UDP, and we'll set the port to match what we set up in the LS wing. Now we can go ahead, press send all and receive all, and enable the input and output here within the settings. Once we do that, we can close the settings. And in this case, I'm going to move the fader on the LS wing. You can see, that I'm controlling the Grandmaster down in the bottom right corner. Now we can go back to the mapping page of the LS Wing and we can set up all of the faders and buttons to perform the actions we desire. When we're done, we'll press save, then press OK, and we're good to go. At that point, you can press exit or just close the window to keep your configuration. We can also set up the LS Wing to use the two DMX ports on the back for output from the Grand MA3 software. Of course, you'll need to have parameters licensed in Grand MA3 in order for the output to work. On the wing side, we'll go to the node page. We'll set the IP address that we desire for the node. This can be different from the control address that we use to set up the mapping. And then we'll set up the type of DMX that we wish to send, in this case, SACN and the universes. Awesome. Now let's go over to Grand MA3. Over here in Grand MA3, we can go to our settings and to DMX protocols. Then we'll go to SACN, 
and we'll make sure that the universes are sending. In this case, I'll need to set up a second universe by pressing New SACN Data. And then I'll change the universe options to Output Universe 2. Then I'll enable Output and choose my adapter to send it down my Ethernet. At this point, if I had parameters outputting, we'd see the DMX coming out of the jacks on the LS Wing. Have fun using your LS Wing with Grand MA3.